video, I'm going to answer to some of your questions about Sakojin Kiwi. Hello everybody, I am Elham from Skin Chakra, a place where you can order excellent quality cosmetic raw material and you can learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist even if you are not one. After our last blog post about Sakojin Q, you have sent me some questions and I'm going to answer to them today. First question was about stability issue. Of course there are always stability issues. You can even blend a kiss oil and have stability issues. We only show you usually our pretty samples and our successful products and we hide the 500 failures before then. This is a kind of failure we have had with Sapojel Q that I'm showing you. It didn't pass the freeze thaw test. Second question was about uh, leaving a film on skin. Yes, of course, it leaves a film on skin. That's its bloody job to leave a film on, film on skin. The film is, however, not sticky and not greasy. Third question was about adding surfactants to Sapoje. Be my guest and do it. But keep in mind that adding surfactants, specifically those who contain water, will change the optic. And then this is, this is a, a sample without any surfactants. And I'm doing surfactants so that you can see that the optic changes a little bit. But most importantly, this will affect somehow the gel to milk uh, effect that you have because it becomes turbid, cloudy right here, or milky, you can call it. It changes the viscosity, so, so you have to compensate for the viscosity. And most importantly, when you add a water containing surfactant here, you are changing the product from a self-preserving waterless product to something that contains product. This means you have to uh, fiddle with pH adjustment as well as with preservation. How to work with Sapoje? Let me stop this. In our laboratory, we work with this guy, which is an ICA Eurostar overhead steerer. It makes your life much easier when you work with this serum and you can see how beautiful this product is. This is a clay mask self-preserving that we have made with Sapoger and the star ingredient in this product is Bacuchiol or Cystenol which would be available on our shop from the next week. I know that most of you don't have this luxury in your artisanal lab. So to uh, or repeat what you do in your laboratory, we made some samples that we manually steered. This one is, was made from beginning to end uh, with only a spatula. And this one was steered at the beginning where the viscosity is low with a magnetic sphere and at the last steps with a spatula. It is possible you can create beautiful samples, stable samples, but you need patience, you need time, and you need some muscle power. So, but, but basically it will work in an artisanal lab. I hope you have the answer to most of your questions and we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.